This lesson deals with mesh current analysis in the S domain. You can find these notes in the ECE 202 ebook in chapter 10 on page 26. Consider this circuit in the time domain where we have V of S of T, two inductors and two resistors. Let's transform this circuit into the S domain and write the equations by inspection, including initial conditions. All right, in the S domain, this becomes V sub S of S. My inductor becomes an impedance of SL in parallel with a initial condition of I sub L of zero minus divided by S. And here we've got an inductor called L1 and the same thing for L2. My resistor R1 and R2 map as resistors into the S domain. To be able to do mesh equations, I would need to have all voltage sources. Let's do a source transformation. Convert this into a impedance SL1 in series with a voltage source with a plus sign over here and the minus over here, whose value then is going to be the current times the impedance of the inductance. So the S's cancel and I wind up getting I sub L1 of zero minus times L1. Likewise for the inductor L2, I have SL2 and then I have a voltage source whose value is I sub L2 of zero minus. S's cancel when I multiply this just times L2. Now I've got two meshes call them I1 and I2, in the S domain. We'll form a two by two matrix and write the equations by inspection using our techniques from chapter eight. Here's my blank two by two and I'm gonna fill in the entries. So around mesh one, I'm gonna add up all the impedances, which are gonna be SL1 plus R1. Between meshes one and two, I have a resistor R1, so I'm gonna negate that summation. Go around the mesh counterclockwise, record the first sign that I see. So I see a plus I sub L1 of zero minus times L1, and then plus V sub S. For mesh two, I add up all of the impedances around the mesh and I get SL2, R2 plus R1. So here's that entry in row two, column two. Between meshes two and one is gonna go in row two, column one, negating the sum, just R1. Go around counterclockwise, the first sign you see is a plus, I of L2 of zero minus times L2. And now we can solve this, put in values and the like. This is how we do mesh current analysis in the S domain.